Ms. Bryson, you have dragged the defendant, your ex-boyfriend, Mr. McCarroll, into court today because although you admit to having sex with more than one man, you are here with proof that Mr. McCarroll is the father of your 18-month-old son, Zylan McCarroll. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McCarroll, you say that because of Ms. Bryson's admission, you have no choice but to believe that another man is Zylan's biological father. True. And after today's DNA results are revealed, you demand that Zylan's name be changed. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bryson, what is the nature of your relationship? You're separated? Yes, ma'am. We're currently separated. Are you right. working to get it back on track? Where are you all at in this? We're not working on getting anything back back in track because Mr. McCarroll, he has whorish ways. Wow. And he wants me to be a whore like he is, and I'm just not... I'm not that type of person. Mr. McCarroll, you want her to be a whore like you are? <laughs> no, Your Honor. I have no idea where Ms. Bryson gets that from. I... <laughs> Are you just trying to say he cheats on you a lot? Yes. Every but you... time we're together, he cheats. I, I wanted us to get married, okay? And he doesn't want to do that. Yes, I, I tried to structure... Because he wants to be a whore. I tried to structure everything about my life to make it where we would never have to be here in this situation where she would never have to worry about who her baby daddy was or none of that crazy stuff. I was he trying to work and go to school... He don't never take blame for anything that he does, y'all. ...so that we could not be here and have question marks over these kids' heads. Like... Uh, everywhere he goes, he meets someone. And he always <laughs> yeah, sleeps but... with them. Everywhere it's not he true. goes. It's not true, y'all. What is true, Mr. McCare? I could see all this coming, and I tried to uh, deter or uh, avoid her from getting to this How did point. you see all of it coming and what well, is it? I could... This, uh, this situation where, uh, we got another beautiful young black woman that don't know who her kid's father's is, that's steady, uh... Oh, you're a savior now. He's I'm not a he's, savior. He thinks no, he is. I'm he not a savior, is. but that, I could that, have that's avoided the way he this situation. How could you have avoided that? that? I could have avoided this by working and going to school and trying to make a better way for and her every time and he worked. And, and hold on. Why is it you weren't able to do that? Call, oh, my God. I can't talk to my mother on the phone. I can't read a book without getting put out, cursed out. Or, Your or... Honor, when he did find a job while we was together, I was supposed to bring his lunch in for him. I called him. He didn't answer. And I know him. Anytime he don't answer the phone, we it's a never, woman involved. I and sure enough, it was. His friend, his best friend still to this day, they cheat together. They do oh everything God. together, never okay? My, they do everything together. Never. He was well, wait a minute. I, I want to go back to the part where you said you can't even read a book. Yes, no, ma'am. I was reading... I, I believe it was uh, uh, Rick James' autobiography <laughs> some years ago. <laughs> As you could imagine, that is a very interesting <laughs> book. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. She upstairs with the baby. I'm downstairs because you know, I'm trying to read. The baby wants oh, to cry and whatnot. I heard hold on, on, hold on. And Let him finish okay. the story. I'm okay. reading the book. She come downstairs huffing and puffing. I've been downstairs too long. I'm too quiet. I'm, I'm reading the book. What, what you want me to do, man? And the reason I came downstairs, I heard him on the phone with a girl that he had currently step, slept with. <laughs> And we got into it about that situation. Man, and how he, do you know that was a girl anytime that I, I bring, really slept with? I talked to her. He was telling her she upstairs sleep with the baby. When I get a chance to get out, I'm gonna come over and we gone. Mm-hmm. I don't know where and you he's got like, that. I want to take a lot of things. It's always, it's always, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, I don't know nothing. Like he, like he over here talking now, like I'm the bad guy. What was the nature of the relationship? What was going on in the relationship when you got pregnant with Zylan? When I had gotten pregnant, we were separated. He was with another lady. And, uh, he was... Every time he comes over, he don't know how to keep his hands to himself. Even if I'm in a relationship, he still does it. As soon as my friend turns his back, he touching on me. And I tell him, you know, don't do that. <laughs> but while I'm separated, I do love him this, with all my heart. Dude, Everything dude. in me loves him. I want all my kids to be his. Okay. I can't tell. So you were with another man. Yes, I was. In a I'm relationship. Hooked, no, and I then was. Mr. McCarroll came over and touched you, and then yeah. you that got easy? pregnant. That's the, right? I, I braided. Thank, thank you. No, Thanks two. No, no. Your Honor, yeah. I braided his hair. He came over. I asked my the guy that I was in a relationship with, could I do his hair? He said yes. He came over and was flirting on me, touching on me. Every time we speak on the phone, I try to call him and let him talk to the kids. Every time that we speak on every the phone, time, really, every he time. always every time every he time. always flirts. I never ever cheated on him when we were together. <laughs> ever. You just cheat on other people with him. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Basically. Get it right. This, this is what she needs. Basically. Some guidance so basically, and and you're saying he's 
the cheater. Yes, and he tried to make me look like the bad guy. Okay, I have, in the past, I have cheated on guys with him because, like I said, I love him, but when I got pregnant with him, I was with someone and I broke up with him and I told the other guy why I was breaking up with him because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. And I can see that that really just upsets you. I wanted to have a family with him. I wanted to get married to him. Like I said, I've been with him since I was 18. I love him. Any man I ever talked to know that I love him, okay? I wanted to have a son. I wanted to get married. He didn't want to give it to me. He didn't want to settle down, okay? Yes, I did. And I got it. And obviously, ain't no man gonna be included in it because I haven't tried <laughs> to even get into a relationship because I know I'm still hung over him. And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You say you wanted to have a family. <laughs> I understand that desire. A baby's not a consolation prize. It's not, oh, because I didn't get this man, I'll just have this baby and I'll just be all right. That's not how children should be brought into this world. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In your mind, there is no doubt no around doubt. Zylan's paternity. No you doubt. think that this doubt, he's just making this up? He is. And I also have proof of that, Your Honor. I'd like to see that proof. Jerome? You're handing up a calendar. Yes, ma'am. That's a conception calendar. Okay. Based on that calendar, I could see my son on April the 28th. In blue is the date you were intimate with Mr. McCarroll. Yes, ma'am. Actual And date. now I in know pink, how you, know that. you have outlined mm -hmm. the window of conception that you calculated. Yes, ma'am. Don't forget to put the other How did there. you get these dates? Where, well... Where his dot is? Or his circle of whatever? <laughs> I actually went online... Because when I found out that I was pregnant, I had currently went to the doctor a week before. I was trying to have a son. I hadn't had a child in three years. And I was currently going to the doctor. I took a test at the doctor, and he told me I wasn't pregnant. So he scheduled me for an ultrasound on my ovaries. The next week, I bought one just because, and I was pregnant. And I, I bought four more, and they also came out positive. And during that time frame that I slept with, I slept with Mr. McCarroll, uh, he was with a girl. She, she was going to college or whatever, and he came over while she was at school and slept with me while he told me he don't remember. I mean, I do remember, I'm just saying that's No, now he day. remember, now he remember. I just said I remember that time frame. So basically, yes, you took, day. That's a, what I'm you to took Sorry. the date uh, of Xylem was born, which is January 23rd, yes. and you did a conception calculation. Yes, ma'am. And you came up with this window of conception. Yes, ma'am. Outlined in pink. All right, Mr. McCarroll. Yes, Do you remember having sex with Miss Bryson on the 28th. No, ma'am. We were having sex around that time, but on the 28th specifically, no, I can, no, I can't say that. She might have been with that guy then. I have no idea. The that truth is, you all were Ooh. separated at that time. You yes, had another yes, you girlfriend you were dealing with? Yes, Your Honor, yes. Okay. Miss Bryson, when were you intimate with the other man? Well, um, we slept together also on April the 26th. That's the day that I split up with him. All right, yes, so April 26th, other guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm so bad, though. Miss Bryson, that's just two days before yes, you said I you slept with Mr. That. McCarroll. I understand that. Yes, ma'am. Why are you not including him as a possible father? Well, I just don't think that he is because my, my son, he looks like, he looks just like my daughter. And also, I have another six-week-old by him. And they look the same when they were born. And that's why I just don't think the other guy is the father at all. I think the total opposite. I think the new baby and my daughter look exactly alike, but Zylan does not look like me or my other Apparently, baby. he don't think the new baby does either because he also... Asked I do think he look like me, him. but I just want to... I just... I, I do want to DNA test me him too, just to be sure. Yeah, I know. I see... I'm sorry to make you make that face. You know, he probably I remembers... <laughs> I mean, because who keeps having I, I babies know. with people and you don't I know if you're the father, don't know she, who the she, father? Mm. Your Honor, he didn't want to be with me because uh, I, I love him. Down. And that's, that's my fault. What is your relationship with Zylan right now? I mean, I've been there for... I cut the umbilical cord. He got my name. He in my house right now. That's me and him. She ain't there. I went and got him. Talking about I don't never keep him. But I have to do it all by myself. I currently... I, now I have four kids. He give me $30 probably every blue moon. And that ain't having taken care of no kids. Okay? Okay, well... So why do you keep having him? You 27 it, it, years old. Young and dumb. And I love, and love with the wrong person. Like I said, I've known him for 10 years. 
Your Honor, when I met her, she didn't have nothing. I took her... She had never... And been... she still don't have nothing, according to you. I'm so what does that say about that. you? Right. And she got all your babies. Right. So stop over-talking me. Stop over-talking me. Stop over-talking me. I want an answer to that. I'm because kidding. just a few minutes ago, you said to me, you know, I could have prevented all this. You know, I could have just done this. It didn't have to be another black, beautiful black woman out Correct. here with baby. This nonsense you over here yep, testifying to. Make it what I want to understand is... You want to try to downgrade her in this courtroom, but she been with you on and off, having your children for 10 years, and her life has not improved at all. I want an it's explanation. Not my fault. No, no, no. Yes, it is, because I mean, you said okay, you could change it. Let me finish. I mean, let me let you finish. No, I want an right. answer. Okay. Because it's one thing to say I've been with her. We've been on and off. I love her. We can't let each other go. It's another thing for you to try to downgrade her after you previously stated you had a system of avoiding I'm trying to I buy everything for my kids. All my kids, every one of my kids always had a crib. They always had a bed. They had everything they needed. So I don't know why he even saying, just because I live in the projects don't mean I don't have a job and I don't work to take care of my kids. Yeah. Okay? I, I'm trying to explain it. I take care of all of mine. So let's get back to the paternity now. Okay, thank you. This courtroom is focused on Zylan... Yes, ma'am. ...and how we can improve his life by ensuring that he knows who he's, his father uh, is. Yeah. So the bottom line is this. All of this doubt centers around this other man you were with. Yes. He's here, and I want to hear from him. Jerome, will you please escort him in the courtroom? Mr. Perkins, thank you for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Do you believe you are Zylan's biological father? No, I do not, Your Honor. Why? Because at the same time she was with me, she was messing around with him. And I lost my train of thought just mm -hmm. thinking about the stuff. It makes you upset? Yeah, because I found out that she was messing around on me. Mm -hmm. So... She told me she was 99% sure that he was the father. And it's a possibility that I could be. Did you know she was still sleeping with Mr. McCarroll when she was with you? No. <laughs> when did you find out? When she got pregnant, she told me. I split up with him. It don't make it right. I know that. You split, split up, up with up Mr. With Perkins. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, you I, slept with he, Mr. Yes, McCarroll. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, I did. And I told him that. I told him I didn't want to hurt him. We were sleeping I didn't want to. I didn't want to. All no, through April. We, oh, we was having here. sex all through April. That whole I'm telling Listen, you the truth. <clears throat> if you knew there were potentially two fathers, because you told him there was a chance he could be, yes. you knew there's only, there's just a two-day difference between when you slept with him and when you slept with Mr. McCarroll. Okay, That's right. And I was, well, hold on. Yeah. Why is it you named the baby... Zylan McCarroll after Mr. McCarroll. Well, I asked Mr. McCarroll because he already knew the situation. Same, I explained it to him. I didn't want... <sighs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I didn't want my son to feel like if he had my last name. My other kids have their dad's last name. And that's one... You know, I only have one that isn't his. I didn't want my baby to feel like left out, you know. That's why I asked him, would it be okay if I put the baby in his name? And he said, it's fine. Is yes, that correct? Yes. He got and, my whole name and pretty much. did you say that because you believed the child was yours or because you were willing to take responsibility for the child? I was willing to take responsibility for Did you for sign the child. birth certificate? The hospital where we live, if you're not married, they don't let them sign it. All right. I'm ready for the results. Jerome? <clears throat> we have two results today. The first reads as follows. In the case of Bryson versus McCarroll, when it comes to 18-month-old Zylan McCarroll, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Perkins, you are not the father. In the case of Bryson versus McCarroll, when it comes to 18-month-old Zylan McCarroll, it has been determined by this court. Mr. McCarroll, you 
are not the father. Man, case closed. I ain't got no more to say. Say no more. <laughs> Man. Well, obviously, my calendar was wrong and my ultrasize. I showed both of them my ultrasize. <clears throat> Everything said I got pregnant in April. That's what I was worried about. So Who I obviously got pregnant in April. Is Zylan McCarroll's father? Do you know? Yes, ma'am. I obviously got pregnant in May. I thought I got pregnant in April. I was real early, so I know who it is. I was trying to have a son and I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Who were you trying to have a son with? Initially, I wanted one with him, but he wasn't ready. Like I said, I had to beg him. He wasn't ready to settle down. I was promiscuous, okay? I, I, I so you just, you made the decision you were gonna sleep around with anybody and then you gonna get a, a, a son. Right, I did, it was a dumb decision. Miss Stanley, you have dragged your former fling, Mr. Williams, to court for a paternity test to prove he did not father your three-year-old son, Ryan Alexander. You admit to being intimate at the time of conception but say today's results will prove your son does not have his DNA. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, you say baby Ryan Alexander is the most important person in your life and claim the only reason Miss Stanley is doubting that Ryan Alexander is your son is because she has a new man in her life and doesn't want you around. Is that true? That's correct. You're here with your Aunt Mary, who says she has proof to show that Ryan Alexander is your biological child. So, Miss Stanley, were you in a relationship with Mr. Williams? Was this a committed relationship? This was more like a sexual type kind of relationship. It was a relationship. I never loved him. It was a mistake. No, you honor, excuse me, she's wrong without me, she's a liar. What, what, how did you see the relationship, Mr. Williams? Explain. We, she had us planned out getting married. She had us planned out to get the cakes. She had us planned out to get the, for, I was taking her kids back to school almost every day. I've done everything for her and them kids. And so you feel like you all were in a relationship. You were talking about marriage? Yes, ma'am. Picking out wedding cakes? Yes, ma'am. Is that true, Miss Stan? No, Your Honor, it is not. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. Gross. How no, long were you not. together in your estimation, Mr. Williams? We was together for about a year. For a year? Yes, ma'am. And you say you were planning to get married? Yes, ma'am. And I have proof of that, ma'am. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you okay, hand me that this proof? This here is where she was <laughs> texting me off of Facebook, asked me if I was Chris's aunt and that they were going to get married and she wanted me to do the wedding because I am a community chaplain. And I told her, <laughs> yeah, and she asked me how much would I charge. I told her nothing because it's my nephew. Let me and see that, And she's nothing but about wanting somebody to try to use. So this yes. is a message, a text <laughs> message yes, from Miss Stanley? Yes, ma'am. That says, did you hear that me and Chris is gonna get married? Yes, ma'am. Is this a message you sent? No, Your Honor, it is not. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it is. You no, are. it is yes, not. Yes, ma'am, yes, it is. Oh, uh, well, then let's pull up my Facebook page and let her uh, look Well, then let's do it. that. Then well, let's, let's do let's that. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Let Chris so fight his own no. battles oh, instead on. of letting you do it. No, how about that? It's none of your business. What's yeah. going on in the uh, courtroom? Yes, yes it, it is, is my aunt's because, business. Uh, that's my nephew, and I raised him. I'm telling you yeah. right now. I don't care. If that was his son, just like him, out but Let's get some order. I understand you raised him as your son, you care about him, you love him, and you're here today, and everyone is going to get an opportunity to present their case and their side of the story. All right. So, Ms. Combs, you did say that at some point, Ms. Stanley told you he was the father of Ryan Alexander. Is that true? She's always told me since the boy was born that it was his. There was not a question that he belonged to somebody else. I have proof there again of both boys. This is Chris as a child and this is uh, her son as a child and they both look identical. So Let me see that evidence, please, ma'am. Chris came to me and asked me if I thought he belonged to him because everyone else kept saying it wasn't. And they, with the pictures, I said, yes, it does. I said, don't listen to everybody else because people are just going to say what they want to say. I said, but that boy belongs to you because he looks identical to Chris. And so this is a picture on the left is Ryan Alexander. Duh, and yeah. then on the right is Mr. Williams as a child. 
Yes, ma'am. And you believe you see a strong resemblance? Uh, yes. I have another Facebook thing that she had texted me saying that he was the f that he was a good father. Let me see that son. evidence, Miss Combs. And so this is another message you say Miss Stanley sent you that reads, "He is really good with my kids, and Ryan loves his daddy." Correct. Miss Stanley, did you send Correct. this no, message? No, Your Honor, I did not. So, where do you think these messages are coming from? Maybe because uh, he had access to my cell phone. That didn't come from cell phone, baby dog. It came from the messages that you sent me on Facebook, and it's even got the dates on there. That <laughs> exactly, it was access to my fa exactly he access know, to my Facebook, to which is downloaded on my phone. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sure. All right, Miss Stanley. Did you ever tell Mr. Williams that he is Ryan Alexander's father? Did you no. ever say that? No, Your Honor, I did not. Your Honor... How did he come to this conclusion? Because he is very, very excessive with me. He follows me everywhere. If I'm at a grocery store, he would follow me with me not even letting him have the knowledge of him knowing where I was at. He was there. So you feel like he wanted this child to be his, so yes. he just created that story? No, he no, kept you trying to But you do, you do admit that you were in a sexual relationship yes. with him. And, and was it during the time Ryan Alexander was conceived? Yes, ma'am, it was. Were you all using protection or no? No, Your Honor, we was not. Well, Miss Stanley, you do understand if you're having <laughs> sex with someone without protection during a window of when a child is conceived, he could be a potential father. You understand that, yes, right? He could be a potential father, but I do not think he is the father of my child. So you're with the other man. How do you end up with Mr. Williams? We met at my cousin's place. We were living in a trailer where Mr. Williams would come and visit with me. At that time, that's when I conceived Ryan Alex is when me and my ex was split up. I still had a relationship with him after I had got with Mr. Williams. So you were split and you were dating Mr. Williams, but you still were having sex with your ex? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Williams, were you there when Ryan Alexander was born? No, ma'am, I wasn't because for once she wouldn't even let, she wouldn't even call me to let me know she was having an emergency sex action at the hospital. I didn't know nothing about it the next day. It's kind of hard to let you know anything, Mr. Williams, whenever no, I was put no, under sedation. I was put You're under wrong. sedation. You're wrong. If you had yeah. I was in some order. Let's not argue. Let's just get the facts. Did you not inform him on purpose? I did not inform him on purpose. You did. Because, and why didn't you want him there? Because I did not want him there because he is very disrespectful. He cusses me in front of my children. Why he's holding our son in his arms. You don't cuss him in front of the and children, so, too? No, I sure so, don't. So, you, do. you just said while he's holding our son in his arms. Yeah. Ooh, so, yeah. are you saying yeah. now yeah. that Ryan Alexander is? No, he your... is my son. When you said our, who were you referring to? Me and my exes. Okay. Your Honor, I have evidence right here that his name is not on his birth certificate. So this is a copy of Ryan Alexander's birth certificate, yes, Miss Stanley. Honor. You've presented this to show that Mr. Williams' name is not listed as father. That's correct. My ex's name is on his birth certificate. So because you were confused about who was the father, you had slept with both men, you ultimately decided to put your ex's name? My ex had signed the birth certificate because Mr. Williams did not show at the hospital. So, if he had shown up, would if you have he... let Mr. Williams sign yes. it? Yes, I sure would have if, if he was, you know, if there was a DNA test to be proven that he was the father. He has been harassing my family for the last three years and I want it all to end. And I hope today that I get my results that I need for this all to just, to just go away. Clearly, you were in a relationship with another man as well during that yes, time. Yes, Your Honor. Do you think he's the father? Yes, I do, Your Honor. You do? Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? Because I had slept with him more than I slept with Mr. Williams. 
You're a liar. You're a straight, low-down liar. Don't so wait a minute. Face. You feel like this man has a greater probability of being the father because you slept with him more often? Yes, Your Honor. Whoever she could be with <laughs> would give her whatever they could get because she... Oh, so now, Ms. Holmes, Ms. Holmes, calm you down. Know. We're not going to start arguing across the aisle anymore. I'm trying to understand from Ms. Stanley. She's admitted that Mr. Williams is potentially a father, but she feels like this other man has a greater probability of being the father because you feel like you were more consistent with him in terms of a sexual relationship. But you do know it just takes once. Yes, Your Honor, okay. I didn't know that. So, have you allowed Mr. Williams to be in his life at all? No, Your Honor, I have not. Um, Your Honor, excuse me. Yes, yes, she has to because I held my son all the time. I always kept my son because you can ask my cousin and her cousin both. I kept them. I kept my but son. But the at relationship her house stopped. Why they? Why she The relationship running, stopped running whenever you time. started going out and going no, to stores no, and no, coming no, for money. No, no, no. Usually, well, wherever, no, usually, wherever, usually, wherever, guy in Mikey, New York. Mike, I have him to bed. All right, calm down. Kids, while you get it, baby, straight another man. You'll get a chance. So the animosity and the anger is that you feel like you were there, Mr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. But she was off with someone else. Yes. And Miss Stanley, did you allow Mr. Williams to keep the baby sometimes? No, Your Honor, oh, I did not. Kid. So he's never ever sat with Ryan Alexander no, he has and not. watched him when you weren't not around. Not by himself, not for one well, point Well, it don't mean time. that he might not have been not by himself, but he's watching your kids and your son while you uh, was out running He never straight. watched. He never, never. Yes, he did. watched. He no, one, he did not. Your Honor, excuse me? So you're saying he didn't watch your children no. either? Yes, your I Honor, did. he did not. Yes, I did, Your Honor. I took good care of her kids while she was gone, out, out running up down the streets with my cousin and them. Everyone, her kids called me daddy every, every time. So you deny, Miss Stanley, that Mr. Williams has ever played a role in Ryan Alexander's life at all? That's correct. The other gentleman, the gentleman you believe is his father, the ex, has he played a role in Ryan Alexander's life? No, Your Honor, he has not. He has not? No. Who's stepping in now and helping with Ryan Alexander and, My and, and boyfriend. being the father? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend is. I'd like to hear from you, sir. Will you stand? Please state your name. Anthony Jennings. Mr. Jennings, thank you for being here. So you have now stepped up and you are being a father, basically, to yeah. Ryan Alexander. Yeah, for the last two years. What do you know about the situation and whether or not there is truly a possibility that Mr. Williams could be Ryan Alexander's biological father? Well, I've been with her for two years. I ain't never heard nothing about that, but when the first three months we was together, she, I was at a store, he come by, see if he can go see Ryan. I was like, well, okay, well, I didn't know nothing about this, all right? So I said, yeah, go ahead. So when I come back home that day, she said that he had her in his hands, holding him at the, on the carport, cussing her and all that stuff when he had him in his hand. And I buy that kid clothes, I buy him diapers, I buy him wipes. I've been doing it for two years. I've learned him how to swim. I take him to the parks. I take him, I take him everywhere. That's my kid right there. I don't, give a, I don't care if it's my, it's my biological mind. I've been raising that kid. That kid's mine. I don't care. You feel like that's your son? Yeah. When he sees you, does he call you daddy? Yep. If Mr. Williams is determined to be his biological father, then he would, of course, have a right to be in this child's life. Yes, ma'am. You would still continue in your relationship with Miss Stanley. Yes, ma'am. And you still want to be a part of Ryan Alexander's oh, yeah. life, even if oh, it's yeah. determined Mr. Williams is, in fact, his biological father. Yeah. So, Mr. Williams, you say today truly means everything to you. Yes, ma'am. Because this little boy is very important to you. Yes, ma'am. He's three years old now, and it sounds like you've missed out on a lot of his life. Yes, ma'am, because the mother took him from me and wouldn't even let me see him. How has this affected you? And it took affect me a lot. Every time I try to ask, do like, you know, do even, you know, get to keep him? Or even get to come over and spend time with him? It's always the answer, no, you can't keep him. You can't, uh, you can't be around him. So what if the results don't go the way you want? What if, in fact, Mr. Williams is Ryan Alexander's biological father? He will have a legal right to see his child. I understand that, and I do not mind for that. Okay. I want it to be supervised if he is to have any contact with my son. Okay. Mr. Williams? Yes, ma'am? 
If you're deemed to be the father today, are you ready to step up? Are you ready to do what's necessary to raise this young boy? Yes, ma'am. To make sure he has a safe, happy, healthy upbringing? Yes, ma'am. And to help his mother? Yes, ma'am. Raise him? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I think it's time for the results. Jerome? Need this too. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Stanley versus Williams, when it comes to three-year-old Ryan Alexander Stanley, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Williams, you are not his father. Thank you, I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you very much. I know that wasn't the news you wanted. But hey, it's okay, I can move on my life. I can do better. <laughs> I can do better if you could. I got a vehicle, you don't. That's not what you have that makes your life perfect. Whatever, Linda, I don't want to. Well, uh, a vehicle doesn't don't, make I your don't life less, 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 stop, less, stop, less stop arguing. The truth is the truth. The DNA has spoken. It is what it is. <clears throat> you all presumably will go on to raise this young man. His biological father, are you able to reach that person? Yes, I am. He already knows that there's, there, there's a possibility that it, it is his. Mrs. Mueller, you say that after an extremely painful childhood filled with much heartbreak and pain, you turned your life around, joined the military, and got married. But the one thing you still need to know is who is your dad? You've dragged the defendant to court to prove he is your biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Robinson, you claim that you've always known you are not Ms. Mueller's biological father and feel badly that you pretended to be just to stop her from being heard. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Mueller, what emotions are you feeling today standing here in court? I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm annoyed. Your Honor, when I grew up, I had a rough childhood. I didn't really know either one of my parents very well. I basically raised myself, being raised by myself and the people that I was in foster care with. So I was a little troubled child, but as I grew older, I told myself I didn't want to be like that. So I graduated from high school with an honors diploma. I joined the Army. I went and served my country overseas. I came back. I'm in school now on the dean's list, getting my bachelor's degree. I'll be done in a year. I'm married to a man who loves me and supports me fully. And I feel like I'm proud of myself. And thank you for your service. But I still see the pain. I'm so hurt. I feel like... I just feel like nobody cares or, like... Your Honor, when I was getting deployed to Iraq, I wanted my family there. I took the time out to call Mr. Robinson, ask him to be there for me, you know? I'm getting ready to deploy. Can you come up to the unit? His answer was, I'm busy. And he lived in the same city, 15, 10 minutes away. And so you have not had the support... Never. ...of the man you believe is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Robinson. Yes, Your Honor. Talk to the court about your doubts, because this is a beautiful young woman here. Yes, Your Honor. I've always been there for Miss Muller. Even from the day she was born up to this present day. I've all, even with my doubts that she was not my daughter, I was there for her. In what ways were you there for her? I because the... when I look at her, she wants that answer. I was always there. I always come visit her. Oh. I, I tried to take her places, oh. do things with her from the birth to this present day. So, Ms. Mueller, as you hear that testimony, you don't feel like he was there for you? No, Your Honor. Even at a point, I was in Oregon at one point, and I was in this abusive relationship. And the last person I wanted to call was Mr. Robinson, but I had no other choice. I called him and told him my situation. I told him, if you could just give me some money or give me... I, didn't, I don't even think I asked for money. I asked if I could come stay with him because I needed somewhere to go. He told me he didn't have any money, and... Uh, I, I think, I believe he told me I couldn't stay with lying. him. I am... So, Mr. Robinson, I want to ask you this. You, you know, you say you have doubt. Yes. But you also say you've always been there for I've her. been there because I've always been a stand-up man. I was raised yeah, to believe man. that 
if you were a father, you take care of your kids. Which you right. That was the way I was raised. Okay. And that's what I did. And I mean, do I... you understand that she believes you're her biological father? Not um... by the way they, they treated me, no. Oh. Yeah. No, Yana. No. Okay. So, <sighs> talk to me about this doubt and where it stems from. Take me back to this relationship with her mother. Yes, Your Honor, when, when Ms. Mueller was born, I was there, like I said, every day. You I'll... were in a relationship with her mother? Yes, I was. Okay. And, uh... Married? Not married. All right. I did everything a father should have done. And so, wait a minute. You're in a relationship with her mother, her mother gets pregnant, and you do everything a father should do, but you don't believe you are this <laughs> child's biological father. Yeah, I, I was going I need you to explain to me how that <laughs> happens. With the way she made me feel when Ms. Miller was Feelings born. ain't got nothing to do with mm. the DNA. Mm. I want to understand mm. why do you have doubt? Were you having sex with her mother during the window of conception? Yes, I was, but... Okay. Now, do you have any notion, idea, belief, or proof that her mother was also having sex with anyone else? Well, she had a lot of men friends. When I come around, they always walk away, y'all. It gave me doubts because they walk away. Did you ever question her and say, hey, are you cheating on me? Are you having any other relationships? I did, Your Honor. And what was the answer? She always said, no, those are my friends. Those are just her friends? Yes. I come home one day and this guy's sitting in my house, relaxed and everything. And I'm like, how did you get here? He must have crawled under the house. Crawled under the house? Thank you. you. Mr. Robinson, step out in the aisle, please. Step out in the aisle. And just show me. Walk towards me. You walking in the house and where is the man? Sitting over on the couch. Did he have dirt on his clothes from crawling under the house? Oh, come on now. And then walk over to Jerome like he's the man. He's sitting on the couch and you walk over and say what? I said... How you doing? And what'd he say? He spoke. And then what happened? That was... That Did you was... ask him, why are you in my house? Mm. Mm. He, I kind of knew why he was there. Were you but all I, married at this time? He was one of the guys that I'm talking about. He was dating my sister. Oh, so why are you worried about if he was sleeping with your woman if he was sleeping with your sister? Mm. That's the way they do it in my town. Honey, you dropped the mic on that one. I'll, uh, okay, where were... <laughs> Jerome, remind me not to move to that term. <laughs> right, I'd like to hear from Mom, because I would like to get the other side of this story. Please stand, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. State your name for the court. Miriam Cobbs. Ms. Cobbs, you are Ms. Mueller's mother. Yes, ma'am. All right, yes, so Mr. Robinson has asserted in court today, Ms. Cobbs, that you had a lot of men friends during your relationship. And when he'd come home suddenly, they, they'd be time for them to go. He's a bald-faced lie. Um, how, if, if you come up in your house and see another man up in there and you gonna be that calm? When I'm committed, I'm committed. I don't do no outside dipping and dapping. For it's him talking about being a father to her? No, he haven't. I want to get down to the bottom line. Please, let's get there. Mr. Robinson has doubt. I want to know why he has that doubt. Now, the first thing he asserted in court is that you we're entertaining other men. No, sir. You say that is not correct. No, Your Honor, that's not. So this is just something he made up. Yes, ma'am. When you got pregnant with Ms. Mueller, in your mind, you were certain, positive, that Mr. Robinson was Ms. Mueller's biological yes, father. Yes, Your Honor. Did he participate in your pregnancy and in the birth? Yes, he did, Your Honor. That's when I was pregnant with her. This that's why a, he... Yes. This is a picture of when you I was guys pregnant with, yes, when, when I you was were pregnant, pregnant. With, with Tamika. At that time, it looks like you were embracing your child oh, that's thank gonna you. be born, Mr. No, Robinson. I was trying to time. do the man. I was trying to do the right thing, y'all. Mm-hmm. You were at the hospital when Miss Mueller was born, Mr. Robinson. Yes, y'all. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, y'all. So you on the birth certificate? I'd like to see it, Jerome. Hand me that evidence, please. Child's name: Thermika Mueller. Who he named? After him. I Have was just about so to say, doubt? like, why would father's you name Thurman so Robertson. Yeah, I no. don't think oh. anybody's giving their child the name oh, okay, Thermika Come on, unless exactly. their father's name is Thurman. Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. See, see, a lot can go so Why did you sign the birth certificate was, if you were unsure? I was trying to do the, the right thing, Your Honor. I was in love with her. And I would've... If she'd have told me to take off my shoes and walk to New York bare feet, I would've done it because I was that much in love with her. And so, in your mind, 
you wanted this relationship to continue. Yes, ma'am. Even though yes, you had doubts, you didn't voice them because the truth is you didn't want to lose Ms. Cobb. Did yes, you ever Honor. say, I have doubts? Yes, Your Honor. That's a lie. You what Honor. did you say to her? Think, I think she was messing around. Now, you say I was. Now, hey, yeah. now you're thinking? Which one is I was, I wasn't? You know the truth. No, you know the truth. So, Ms. Mueller, Mr. Robinson says he came to visit you. Said... He was doing the right thing. Do you have any memories of him Your coming Honor, to visit you? Your Honor, I have no recollection of Mr. Robinson until I was in foster care and um, I was at school and the principal came to my classroom and she told me it was someone here that wanted to meet me. She brought me down to the office and I remember seeing Mr. Robinson standing there and they told me that was my father and he was coming to take me home with him. That's when I went to go live with him. When I was about nine... And he took me to go stay with him. And I was excited at first, Your Honor, you know. I was thinking, you know, there's a family. I can go be with some family. When I got there, I, f I felt like I didn't belong. They treated, Yo, she me, lying. they treated me like I was an outsider. I didn't get along with anyone. I had constantly, every day, my stepmom would tell me that he wasn't my father. What? She, would, yes. she would tell me that another man was my father. Yes. She did. And so, wait a minute. Why go get the child if you're gonna bring her home just to have her be verbally abused? Your yeah, Honor, it wasn't that way. <laughs> yes, I went was. to get her to take care of her, to get her out of foster care. If it was my How child, right I won't do the right thing. All right, that's commendable. And you are her legal father because your name is on the birth certificate. No, okay. So whether or not you are her biological father, you are the legal father under the law. Were you paying child support all the time? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, so you're paying child support for this baby? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and now you also are on the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. So you go get her, you bring her to your home. Yes, Your Honor. And my wife treated her as she was one of the other kids. She never mistreated her. No, you didn't even no. treat me like I was <laughs> one of your kids. Miss Mueller, were you treated differently? Yes, yes Your no, Honor. No, Your Honor, she's lying. Yes, what Your happened? Honor, I Your can Honor. remember birthdays. Hold on. Yes. Birthdays, Your... my sister, or a family member, she had, like, a bed full of toys and everything. When it came around to my birthday, his excuse was, I, didn't, I ain't got no Your money. Honor. Your Honor, she's lying. I can't lying. do this. She's even lying, my, Your Even my, my, my stepsister, everything, he treated them like they were royalty. Did he ever say anything to you about whether or not he was your biological father? I had a conversation with him, and I asked him, do you think you're my father? And he told me no. And how old were you when he told you that? Uh, about 25, 26. Okay. So you were honest when she got older? Yes. That I don't think you're my biological child, but yes. just in case you were, yes, I had to go get you. Yes, Your Honor. You brought a witness. I'd like to hear from him. Please stand, sir. <laughs> State your name for the court. Lamarcus Robinson. Mr. Robinson, you obviously are Mr. Thurman Robinson's son. Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe Ms. Mueller is your sister? There is doubt. There is doubt. Yes, Your Honor. Tell the court why you feel that way. Well, let me start off with saying this. My father is a great father. Oh, to you. Mm. To everyone. To you. He did everything that he could possibly to make sure that we were taken care of. He had a stepdaughter. He took care of her. Mm. He took care of Mrs. Miller. His own daughter. Took care of all of us. We had counseling before she moved in. They sat us down and told us, hey, you potentially have a sister who's going to come in and move in with us. I want you guys to treat her like you would treat everyone else. Love her and accept her. They told us this before she even moved in. And so we were prepping for her to get here. We were excited. And then when we got there, that excitement kind of went out the window because of some of the behaviors that Mrs. Miller was uh, displaying. Uh, she was very disrespectful to my mother. Anything my mother tried to engage with her, she would uh, push back. She didn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> Did your father ever tell you whether or not he believed he was Ms. Mueller's biological father? He never told me that personally. But you heard rumors, you heard buzzing around the neighborhood, you heard people say, hey, hey that might not be your sister. And when, as a child, when you hear that so much, many times, you start to believe it. <laughs> okay, thank you for your testimony. Ms. Bueller, before we go to results, I want you to state to the court why these results are so important to you today. I want to have a relationship with him. I'm getting ready to have um, a renewal ceremony with my husband once we hit the five-year mark. I want my father to be there with me. I want a relationship. I want to know what traits I get from you. What, well, you know, how, why am I like I am? Where do I get my stubbornness from? Is it you? Well, you know, that's what I want to know. You are an amazing, strong, yes, beautiful young woman. Proud of my baby. And the fact that you have come this far, 
-hmm. and can stand in this courtroom with the courage yes. to speak your heart, speak your mind, and relive some very painful moments, I think is, it's remarkable. And I think it's important before we go to results that you take a moment to talk to them about why this means so much to you and what happened to you. I feel like I needed you. I feel like I had to learn the hard way how a man is supposed to treat me. I might have been a tough child, but I didn't need you to throw me away. You put me back in foster care. You chose to go back to foster No, you put, you chose I chose to go, to go live with my mom. Right. You chose to put me in foster care I rather than choose that. letting me go live with her. I did not. Do you know what happened to me in foster care? I needed you. Listen, this is one of the reasons why this courtroom is so important. We now 29, almost 30 years later, and this child still doesn't know if this is, in fact, her biological father. But I got the truth in this envelope. You want it? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Mueller versus Robinson, when it comes to 29-year-old Thermika Mueller, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Robinson, you are her father. What? Bam! Bam! That's what I'm talking about. You are the father, sir. I see in time discrediting me. I always tried to be that for her. And I love you. You don't act like you do. I'll be there for her if she, if she want me in her life. You just heard her testify that she wants you to walk her down the aisle. Your Honor, I should never mention that. When okay, I... stop, Mr. Robinson, stop. This is, this is how you move forward. You move forward by not moving back. And so now, Ms. Mueller, I want you to give your father this opportunity. And Mr. Robinson, I want you to take it. I will, Your And Honor. take it seriously. Yes, Your And Ms. Mueller, I want you to remember, you said something in your testimony that rocked me to the core when you said but you didn't have to throw me away. Mm -hmm. you, you are not trash. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. You are a worthy, beautiful young lady. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't you ever forget that. 